need a new band for featured artist. Wilmer um, Valderrama. He doesn't make music, does he? Hat. I don't like any of their songs. Um, indie game. I don't do video game reviews. Fez. Yes, Fez or Fess, whatever, however you say it, F-E-S, all capitals. Fez is a, I'm going to say it, Fez. Fez is a three-piece band consisting of a female vocalist, the first one we've had on the channel because everyone knows I'm sexist. That vocalist's name is Polly and she also plays the guitar. And then we got Tom on the drums and then Matthew on the bass. And these three people are from Peterborough... England. Oh, sorry. They're from Peterborough. Peterborough, England. All right. You know, fucking Peterborough. So what? Fuck off. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to do the rest of the video in this accent. So if you're annoyed, dislike the video, click off uh, and go listen to Fez. Fez is one of the best math pop, math rock, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's mathy. It's fucking mathy. All right. It's like, Maffy, but with just the right amount of pop in it, you know, like just the right amount of pop to get like really in your head, really in there and drive you crazy. I mean, I mean sorry, drive you mad with the hooks and the fucking riffs and the fucking vocals. Jesus Christ, Polly, like fuck this girl. She's fucking phenomenal on the guitar and the and the, and the vocals, mate, like holy hell, you know, and then Tom on the drums keeping the Maffy beat all the time. All the time, in sync, just riding it. And Matthew on the bass, keeping up with everyone, and just holding down the low end, you know. Like, holy shit, man. You couldn't have asked for a more perfect group of three people to make fucking math pop with. Alright, this band is fucking phenomenal, right? But, they've only got about 35 minutes of music. So, just go fucking listen to them. What are you doing still watching this stupid video of my stupid accent? It's fake. Alright, their first EP that they put out, you Do You in 2017. It's such a great introduction to this band and you can feel it right from the beginning. It's just so familiar and comfy. It's like everyone's so comfortable in their position. For example, Polly, she rides that math beat that Tom creates for her with the drums, right? Which is not easy, by the way, to ride a math beat like that. And it sounds so fluid and, and, and natural for her that it just sounds improvised. Like, I could see her... Going into the booth with fucking nothing but like really good lyrics because that's what she does. She writes really good lyrics and she just goes in there and fucking freestyles and comes out with a fucking banger every time. We've got elements of punk and funk and pop and indie blended really well in this first album. Like they're really feeling it out, seeing where they want to go with their style and I really respect that. With the way this album's put together, it's like you can really appreciate that it's just three people. Three people, three instruments, and vocals. It's just these three simple elements put together in such a way that they're used to their full potential, and it creates something complex. And it's really impressive. My standout track for You Do You has got to be Go Easy. Polly's belting vocals towards the middle, and then it just goes really tranquil, like lays you to bed like, mate. Oh, just a gorgeous ending and after that middle part where she's just belting it out belting belting 
with such emotion behind those lyrics, those phenomenal lyrics that she writes. I love it. Fez's next effort was called Sleep Less, and this one's a split EP with a band called Exploder, which is really good. Should go give them a listen as well. This one came out in 2017 as well. Um, I only got two songs on it, and these two songs are my absolute favourites out of all their discography. First one's Inside Out, which is what woke me up out of the uh, intro sequence. And right up the gate, you can tell they've gotten so much better since You Do You, and it's not even that much time between. These two songs, they sound so much better than what they put out previously. I'm not saying that was bad, not at all, but these are perfect, you know, to me. They're my favourite. They just really hit a stride with this EP. They're maffy and they're poppy just fucking melded together perfectly that just the right amount of pop to make you really dance to it and really click with it, but also maffy to make it complex and like, oh, this isn't what I'm hearing on the radio, right? So Inside Out's a perfect song to me. It's three and a half minutes of most innovative shit I've ever heard. Jesus Christ, mate. You, you done it. You done it. This is the perfect song. And then we've got These Days, which is another perfect one. I didn't know you could have only perfect songs on an EP. Well, fuck. And I feel like These Days is them branching out and experimenting, but really clicking in with that pop, like I said. It's really, really clicking in with the pop here. Speaking of These Days, that's the standout track for me from this album. And I really just love Polly's confidence, you know. she, I love her accent way better than mine which I'm doing right now, fucking terrible. But I really, really love her accent in this and just the energy that she brings to this song. Right, and lastly, we've got Luna, which came out in 2018, and, alright, I know I said that Sleep Less had my favourite tracks on it, but, at the end of the street, the one that this album opens with, fucking hell, the lyrics, it's like, dude, I mean, oh, sorry, the lyrics, it's like, mate, Polly's lyrics were improving so much over the course of this music, like, they were already good to begin with, don't get me wrong, but, they're just so really, really good, really good in Luna, and especially good in At The End Of The Street, which is my standout track for this one. We've got a hard ass breakdown, which you know I like, when we go hard, I love it when we go hard, right? And then it goes into like, a weird military drum roll, and we've got these big epic outro, and like a fucking like funky and shit, all, uh, all this shit, it's like so many delicious styles blended into one smoothie of like, perfect grooves. Well, right. A groovy, if you will. Sorry, no. Like, listen to this shit, man. Just the fact that they perfected the way they control the energy in all their songs, they're getting so much better with every release, right? They're having more fun, they're experimenting more, and the synergy between these three people, three people made this music, right? The synergy between Polly, Tom, and Matthew is just distilled their talents together and created just a beautiful, beautiful thing with their style and their love that they put into every single song. And I really admire Fez. I really admire Fez for that. Okay, I gotta drop that stupid accent. I'm being so real. This is a great band. Like, I love Fez. They deserve your time. They got 35 minutes of music, man. They deserve your time. Trust me.
I mean it when I say this is the best math pop band I've ever heard. And the fact that they have less than a thousand listeners on Spotify, dudes, go change that. Please. I know I've been acting kind of stupid this video, but in all seriousness, please go listen to Fez. I'll link their albums in the description. That does it for this featured artist episode about Fez from Peterborough, England, right? I can't believe I just did a whole video in an English accent. I am so sorry to everyone who watched it all the way through. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.